Hey y'all, it's Spiritual Life Coach 43, and I'm here to give you a life purpose and career reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius for the month of June, year 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome and blessings. If you are a returning viewer, watcher, and or subscriber, thank you so much for watching and subscribing. I'm sending you all so much love and light, joy, happiness, blessings, and positive vibes. Always welcome, welcome back. Um, you guys make me so happy. Please know that. And if you are a cross watcher, please do come in. I'm sending you love and light and blessings as well. Pull up a chair, pull up a seat, relax, enjoy the reading, okay? If you are new to my channel, you may not know I'm not big on signs. I like to focus on you, Aquarius. But if the messages in this reading connect to one of the other readings that I've done, I will let you know. I'll let you know. And you guys can use your own discernment if you want to watch. But um, that's usually a real strong feeling that comes to me. Like spirit will let me know or it'll keep coming to me, you know, for certain parts. Or if I see a lot of the same cards or the same messages or something similar, like it has to really pull me in for me to um, refer you. But um, always use your own discernment. You have free will. Please know when it comes to tarot and oracle cards, it's all about the messages and energy. Never, ever force a reading. It's okay if it's not for you. Hopefully you can still enjoy it for entertainment value or maybe you learn something or you can give advice and share it with somebody who may need it. Okay, there are incredible other readers out here, thousands and thousands, the more the merrier. And I watch myself and I, I just, I watch other people. I just enjoy. So, hey, do what is best for you, but never ever force. But yes, you can flip it, flop it, reverse it, insert yourself wherever you fit. I will not be doing reversals in this reading. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, and comment. You guys keep my channel going and growing and I do see it evolving. You guys are the team, teamwork to make the dream work, and I appreciate each and every one of you from the top, bottom, middle, sides, always of my heart. Thank you. I will let you know when I reopen life coaching sessions and when I reopen personal readings, okay? I do have PayPal and a PO box below in the description box if you're interested in donating. Thank you in advance. Please know whatever you guys donate and give to me. I do receive with gratitude and thanks, and I appreciate you guys for it. And I will definitely put that energy and love back into this channel and into you, Aquarius. Okay. One more thing. I have added an extended. It's an extended oracle. It's an extended oracle reading for your sign, Aquarius. It's located in the description box below. Please click on the description box, and then it's on the top left, so you guys can find it easily. It's three dollars and forty-three cents. The Oracle readings have been really, like, intense. They've been very um, high energy for me. A lot of very clear and direct messages. But um, they've been re real wholesome. So um, get in where you fit in. And thank you in advance if you choose to purchase that. Okay, let's jump into your reading Aquarius. Of course, all of the decks have been prayed and meditated on. I will be using three decks. I will start with the Life Purpose deck. Then I will use, which other deck? I'm going to use clarifiers, something I typically don't do. I'm going to use my spirituality messages deck, and I'm going to clarify your um, four cards that are pulled from the life purpose. I pulled the first three cards after, you know, cleansing, shuffling, and then I took the one from the bottom for the fourth card. That's the overall energy, and I will clarify also with the Silver Moon Oracle card deck here. Something I usually don't do, but I feel inclined to do it. Let's jump right in. Spirit, please come through as you always do for the zodiac sign of Aquarius for the mid-month of June or month of June. Either way, June 2021. Okay. The first card that came out for you guys was books. It says you connect to your life purpose through your involvement with books. And I will be reading intuitively and from the book that goes with this deck. So a lot of you have a book inside that you want to write or you have written a book. It, it doesn't have to be a book. It can be a blog. It could be an article. It could be a, a deck. It could be whatever you want it to be, but a lot of you have something that you want to share with the world. Please do. We need positive messages, anything that's helpful. And you know what? To me, I love to write as well. I am a writer at heart, and that's why I love making my decks. And um, I've always been connected to books and, and things of that nature, especially poetry. But um, do what you feel is best. And writing to me is very therapeutic. You get to release so much. That's why we love music so much. But to me, more than music, I love the words. I always love the lyrics. I always want to see the lyrics. That's always been important to me. So some of you may be songwriters or you may be aspiring to write your autobiography. 
or to write a biography about somebody else or their life. But, you know, either way, you are a writer at heart. And if you don't know, it's going to come out. So write, you know, tell your story, inspire others. You can inspire a self-help book or self-love book. There's so many ways you can go romance novel, but um, definitely release and let it out. And I also want to read from the um, from the book. So Aquarius, your angels want you to know you. Let me see. This is books. Okay, found it. They want you to know your love of books drew this card to you. You are able to find something interesting between the covers of most works and your literature interests are wide and varied. So it's not surprising that your life purpose is centered around the written word. For example, you do well working at a bookstore or you would do well working at a library. Maybe you need to publish a book. It could be time, you know, look into publishing houses and um, or a magazine or you may work in the media. You may also be drawn to write a book which the angels will help you with. You can find answers and direction for your current career path by intuitively selecting books that call to you. Some of you need to read more books or spend some time in a library or, you know, go online and order some books. You can even order digital books, okay? Even if the topics seem initially unrelated to your past career, trust that there's valuable information within the pages. You're being led along the path of your divine life purpose one page at a time. Very nice. Okay. I love books. I always have. I wish I could read more. I just, I'd be so busy. But I try to do um, e-books or, um, yeah, the digital ones as well. But I, I love a book. Even, you know, just reading, you know, this life purpose book. I just love reading and learning about the angels and life purpose. And I love reading these books. Okay. As well. So I'm always reading something or writing both. You also pulled... The environmentalist card. I love this card, you guys. It says you're an earth angel who was born to protect, nurture, and teach about nature and the animals. A lot of you could be very connected to humanity, like to humanity. So you're very worldly. Like you guys love Earth Day. You're about beach cleanups. You're all about doing things to help the environment, helping those who are underprivileged, homeless kids, and displaced people, and those who are suffering from any type of mental illness or health issues it's like you love rescuing animals or helping the world you love helping the earth and you do it it's just a natural thing for you to do and this is beautiful you have a very high vibration so when you are this connected to the world and you only want to see the good and the best out of people you definitely could be an earth angel you should know if you're an earth angel you, you'll feel it because it's your soul your spirit hits differently people compliment you on a higher level it's more than just you're pretty or you're beautiful, or you're nice and kind. It's more like you're a true blessing to the world, to the universe. You're helping in ways that, you know, are very innovative, things that people haven't even thought of. You're doing it. This is splendid. You are super for this, and God bless you always. You are a true work of God. We are all here to do service for the Lord. The main way we can do that after prayer is by helping each other and helping the world and you do this and this is a tremendous task it's huge but this is beautiful your angels want you to know your passion for the environment stems from your soul's purpose prior to your incarnation you pledge to commit your lifetime to helping the planet you can feel this purpose each time you get upset about pollution and through the extreme love you feel towards animals flowers and trees in fact you often feel more connected to animals than people the reason why that is, is because your soul resonates with the honesty and beauty of nature. This card comes to you as inspiration and motivation to take action on behalf of the environment. This begins with adopting an eco-friendly lifestyle for yourself, such as recycling and using green cleaning supplies. Your environmentally relaxed, I'm sorry, your environmentally related career can involve animals like dog sitting, walking, animal communication, activism, and so on. You can work with plants like botany, gardening, landscaping, and the like. Crystals, bodies of water, and air quality. You could be really good with like alternative energy or like anything like that. 
Notice your natural passions and interests as guideposts, directing you towards actions you can take within your community to protect the animals and nature. Anytime you feel upset about an issue, this is a sign regarding your life purpose. Whenever you think someone should do something about this, know that that someone is you, Aquarius. Get up and make it happen. Get it done. Be the change you wish to see, and you will see more changes. A lot of you love trees. I'm seeing um, somebody planting trees or having a garden and, like, eating healthier. I mean, when you eat from your garden, that's truly organic. And, like, you could be offering it to your neighbors or people in the neighborhood. That's beautiful. You also pulled the card of support. I don't see this card come out very often. I like the feel of it. It says your life purpose fully supports you. I love this. This is knowing that the angels and your guides have your back. This is about doing something that you truly love and knowing that you're going to feel fulfilled whenever you do it. So you have to learn how to dive in. You have to believe in yourself and make yourself available, you know, as a service to God and be a great helper because God will send people to help you as well. So helpers will come your way. So if you feel stuck at this time or you feel like you don't know which direction to take next or how you should proceed going forward, talk to God and your angels and spirit. They are going to guide you, okay, and help you so that you come out of this energy because it's not fun being confused or feeling in between or stuck and not sure which way to go. So talk to them, even if it's, you know, just through prayer out loud or silently. That's okay. Ideas are going to come to mind. Write down your ideas. That is part of spirit communicating. You know, sometimes it's a whisper. Sometimes God will directly talk to you from his voice. Sometimes your angels will come to you and you'll see them. They, they come, you know, spirit works in various ways for God. And they come in various ways, okay? You know, spirit only wants to see you at peace and fulfilled and happy. And you will be successful and triumphant when you learn to believe in yourself and depend on your spiritual team. Okay? Let them help you. Your angels want you to know you've drawn this card as a sign that you're fully supported. So if you're wondering, now you know. Yes, you're supported. As long as you fully commit to your life purpose, hold positive intentions, and follow your divine guidance. You may feel insecure about making a career transition. I'm hearing let the fears go. Don't let insecurity or fears or naysayers or people stop you from pursuing your happiness and purpose, okay? Perhaps you may feel stuck in a job that offers you financial security with few other rewards. Maybe you've outgrown a profession that once fascinated you. Or you could be wondering how to build a financial foundation for your spiritual or your spiritually based business. The angels ask that you lean upon them as trustworthy business partners and allies who illuminate and support your path. Your role is to continually talk with them, silently is fine too, about your hopes, expectations, your dreams, any issues you're dealing with, including insecurities. Tell them everything, no matter what it is. There's nothing too big of a, there's never a job that's too big for the Lord. There's nothing too big that they can't do, okay? With God, you can get it all done. You can achieve. Keep believing in yourself. And make sure you listen for the answers from, you know, your ancestors, your spirit guides, God, Jesus, your angels, from your spiritual team. Because these are going to come strong and they're going to reoccur, okay? They're going to come over and over again. Some of them, it's just like, they're going to send you certain thoughts or ideas. They're going to give you ideas and you're going to have strong feelings. So pay attention to your feelings and emotions. If you are unsure whether this guidance is accurate, request additional signs and clarification. Ask God, please God, you know, send me some more signs so I know for a fact. And I have done that myself in various other areas, not just with career and life purpose, but other areas like, please God, show me signs that I'm on the right track. If it's not meant for me to do, block it. Don't let me do it. So talk to God. They want to hear you. And they like that you want to get it right and be on the righteous path. Okay, this is a good thing. So like the world's best co-workers, the angels only have your happiness, peace of mind, and best interest at heart. Know that. They believe in you. And they know you are capable of many wonderful and great things. So don't be discouraged. Don't put your head down. Hold your head up high. Be confident and stand in standing your truth. 
This card was at the bottom of the deck. It is the protected card. Protected. It says you are safe and supported while you change your career. A lot of you, you know, here's that word support again. It's like a double confirmation. A lot of you need to know this, that you have support from God and the angels, especially if you're doing something that's highly spiritual. Like maybe you have become a spiritual teacher and that's your calling now. And you're wondering, wait, should I do tarot? Should I do Oracle? And by the way, I do have um, a life coaching video about, you know, if you should do oral, oral, Oracle cards or tarot. Sorry, I can't speak. Um, but anyways, if that helps, please look that up or email me and I will send you that link about if you should do or watch or even watch tarot or oracle cards. That's mainly what it's about watching. But, um, you know, do what you feel called to do. You know, you are highly protected here and I'm seeing this with support and protected. This card is highly significant to me. I see this card almost every time I shuffle, you know, just to get the energies going. It comes out for me. And I don't know if I've shared this. Well, I've definitely shared this, but I don't know if you've heard this. But I have seen an angel in the flesh while I was woke, okay? They're just as tall as we are. They're magical. They're beautiful. They're real. They exist. Your angels are around you, and they're supporting you. Some of you will see them. Call on them for your help, okay? They give you clarity. They give you guidance. They want to see you succeed and make it. So don't doubt yourself. All right. I'm going to read from the book, but this card always reminds me that I'm protected from negative people. Um, they're not going to let me go down the wrong path. Spirit has spoken to me. I'm doing exactly what I'm supposed to be doing at the exact time I'm supposed to be doing. There's, it's no coincidence. I don't even believe in coincidence, but there's definitely no coincidence why I'm spiritual life coach 43. I see 43 all day, every day, and I have for a long time. So that's, that's. You know, when I when I look at the clock and it's just there and there's other numbers, too. But when I see that every single day, various times of the day, you know, that's spirit. Let me know you're on the right track. Still, you're doing good. You're getting closer to everything that you're supposed to do. Whatever you're thinking and doing is for what's good is for what's right. So it's very reassuring for me. Pay attention to your own omens, your signs and synchronicities. They mean something. Look them up. Those are angel numbers. OK, you are protected and the angels want to reassure you. That it's safe for you to make like any type of career transition. If you've been wanting to do that, and I feel like a lot of you have, this is the time to get started. Okay? You'll be supported along the way. Just listen and follow your inner guidance. That's your intuition. That's your calling. That's your strong feelings. That's that pull towards what you're supposed to be doing. Even if everybody's against it. Even if people tell you no, somebody is going to eventually say yes because God is guiding them to. He's going to make sure you get all the no's that you're supposed to get so that you get to that one right yes. And then all the doors are going to be open. Okay. And you will see growth. Keep putting in the work. You know, even when I started this channel, I remember having what? Three subscribers. Now I'm close to a thousand because of you guys are so incredible and amazing. And because of God overall, all glory to God. And I made sure that I did my part too, by putting in the work, by making sure I was consistent. Even though I had three subscribers, I didn't give up and say, well, I don't have no subscribers. Or if somebody watched one of my videos and I only got one view or one like or one share. Let me tell you something, or zero, I did not stop. I continued. So you have to be consistent and you have to believe in yourself and be passionate and love what you do and not give up on it. Even when things look grim, now I'm moving on and moving forward and I'm, you know, making my own decks and now I have my extendeds and, you know, you keep going. You piggyback off of yourself and you jump to the next lily pad. Keep going until you get to where you want to be. Okay. You want to be prosperous. You want to be successful. You want to be abundant. You can achieve this. Do not stop. Keep going. This card indicates that this is the time, okay, to get started. The time is ripe for you to make this change. Hold the intention that this change will allow you to bring more blessings into your life and world. This has to be your attitude. Your attitude has to be of selfless service. It will allay the ego's insecurities. The more you focus upon service, the less your ego will try to delay your happiness. I love that. You, like everyone, have a unique and much needed life purpose that awaits you with open arms. When you fully commit to helping others and through your purpose, the doors of opportunity and support open wide. Wasn't I just saying that? Of course it is. Okay. Your career transition will ride up on the smooth wings of the angels as long as you're focused upon serving a higher good. The higher good is God. 
and helping his people in his world and doing what makes you feel good. It should feel amazing and wonderful and spectacular and exciting to be of service to help the world and bring more peace and happiness and joy to everyone around you, including yourself. You'll get that energy back. Continue to call upon the angels for guidance, support, and protection throughout your manifestation. If you find yourself feeling insecure or nervous, put your entire focus on service. When you intend to serve a purpose, that's when your purpose will begin to serve you. Amen. Love it. Love it. Love it. Okay, so now what I'm going to do, Aquarius, is I'm going to clarify each of these four cards using my deck, the Spirituality Messages deck, okay? And then I will clarify also with the Silver Moon deck, like I said. This is an Oracle deck as well. Okay? Please, Spirit, come through as you always do. The Zodiac sign of Aquarius. Aquarius. Books. Please clarify books. Books. This one flipped. I'm getting don't take it. Okay. Books. Oh, they all want to jump. Okay. This feels right. Okay. Environmentalist spirit. Environmentalist. For all my beautiful, wonderful earth angels out there. Support. Support. And protect it. Protect it. Protect it. This one came out. I'm getting to take it. Okay. All right. And now I'm going to use the Silver Moon deck. Let me shuffle it at least once. Of course, you guys know I shuffle always beforehand and pre-shuffle and meditate and pray and cleanse the energy. This is for books, Spirit, for books, for Aquarius. This is books. Clarify books. Books, books, books. Thank you. Environmentalists. Support and protect it, please. Protect it. Okay, beautiful. Uh oh, about to knock over my candle. Uh oh. Okay. So my deck looks like this, and then the Silver Moon Oracle deck looks like that. Okay, it's the black one. So you guys can see both sides. All right. So to clarify, books. Aquarius, under the title, Count Your Blessings, it says, be thankful, say thank you to your spiritual team, other people, workers, family, and friends to show your appreciation. Somebody may have written a book about you or dedicated something to you, it doesn't have to be a book, or even when somebody writes you a birthday card or a thank you card or somebody says thank you to you, make sure that you appreciate them and thank them. You may be writing your life story one day. And you want to always make sure that you have pleasant and peaceful interactions with others who can speak well of you. And just because you are a good person, you know, I feel like manners are so important in this world. And I feel like people in these teens need to be taught to use more of them. But definitely count your blessings. I feel like if you write a book or you connect to writing in some way and you pursue it and publish it or get your ideas on the market, I feel like it's going to be prosperous. It's going to soar. It's going to climb, and it's going to be a blessing to you. Okay, you have Halo Moon. It says, spiritual gift inspired and omen. Yeah, your gift as a writer, I'm hearing, is a connection to being a speaker. Okay? Or maybe you are a preacher or pastor or something like that, or a life coach, or you do speeches or something like that. But it all connects, and I feel like um, it's a spiritual gift. You're going to inspire other people, and other people will be inspired by what you teach. Okay? how you speak and the messages that you have to offer pay attention to omen you have omen here so you are going to get some synchronicities and some signs that it's time for you to be a writer and to express yourself creatively okay be creative clarifying environmentalist under the title build a good relationship with god of course it does this would be you know the one that connects with god because you guys are earth angels it says going to church is necessary Feel the energy in prayers, spiritual teachings, and messages in God's house. Yeah, you need to feel the energy of people praying together. That many people, that many souls. Do what you guys feel is safe. You know, for now, you know, some of you may have to pray online, you know, through streaming it. That's okay too, but eventually get back to church when it's safe and you feel right about it. You need to pray in God's house and um, 
pray for others and, and have people pray for you around there. You know, sometimes it's great to have a pastor or priest lay their hands on you, on your shoulders or your head and just pray for you and just help you and heal you that way. But you need to feel that energy in God's house, especially being earth angels. People need you around. Just your presence, you sitting by someone is, is major. Okay. That's healing just because it's your vibe. Okay. And you also have moonscape. It says perspective, remote and apart. I feel like a lot of you are about to take a time out to focus on something spiritual, something that you want to do for the world and for others. You could be starting a new company or something, but you're about to put your life in order back into perspective. You're seeing what you're supposed to do and you're paying attention and you're real focused. I'm hearing like you're getting focused. So you may be taking time away or time apart, like to go within and to think about what your plans are. But you're going to execute them really well. That's what I'm getting. So it's okay if people don't, don't understand that you need some time to just think, okay? So that you can gather your thoughts and ideas and then get started on them. Definitely do that. Go forward. Two, clarify support. Under the Count Your Blessings title, it says donate, pay it forward, give money, give back, clothes, food, school supplies. So be a giver. Do something positive for the world. Good deeds will be noticed and they will come back to you. Okay. So while you are being supported by the angels in the heavens, you are also being guided to support others in some way. It can be simple as donating old clothes or getting rid of, you know, things you don't need. But, you know, what's your trash can be somebody else's treasure, right? Always. You have waning moon. It says forgive, let go, and peace. Somebody may need your support. Or, um, you know, somebody could be really going through some adversity or some major challenges. Forgive them. Remember to forgive yourself and inspire others to be forgiving. We all need to learn how to forgive each other and move on. Whether we stay together or disconnect, it's important to forgive. Not just for you, not just for them, but for God. Okay, God blesses us with forgiveness and he forgives all of us. So who are we not to forgive? Believe me, even with forgiveness, people can still have karma and harsh lessons. There's good and bad karma and people can attract what they put out. So there's something you may to, need to let go of or some type of negative thought and just make peace with yourself. You are supported and you have support. Even if it feels like nobody's around, you have your spiritual allies and God always sends physical ones as well. Look around your circle with family and friends and people around you. You will have support. Under the protected card, to clarify the protected card, under the life purpose title, you have experiment, try something new. Spirit's ready for you to jump out there and do something unexpected. You know, see this road here. It can be golden. It can be beautiful. Travel your path. With your head held high with confidence and courage. Stand in your power. You know, it's going to be riveting. You're, you're going to feel sensational. Think of positive outcomes. Picture that, okay? Be excited for, to walk your path in purpose. You have a soul's purpose. We all do, okay? It's going to be amazing, awesome, okay? I'm hearing astounding. Feel uplifted, okay? Try something different. It's time. It's time to take that leap of faith. Try something new and experiment with different career choices. Make a change and transition to be greater. Okay? Be open-minded here. Think outside of the box and be punctual. You can, you can achieve anything that you want. Be independent. Be resourceful. Use your resources wisely. Okay? Be graceful and thankful. You also have the rose moon. This is from... The Silver Moon Oracle card deck. This is clarifying, protected. It says healing, relaxing, and emotional. A lot of you may be feeling very emotional at this time. You know, change is not always easy. You know, especially when we get so comfortable, right? But Aquarius, change can be good. Train your mind to see that and to feel that, okay? And change for you, I feel like it's going to be very therapeutic and healing. As you become writers and artists and inventors and step into your power as an earth angel, you know, you have so much support here. God has your back, your angels have your front, you're protected on your sides by family, um, ancestors, loved ones, people on this side and the other side in heaven. 
Spirit wants you to relax your mind so you can be at peace and think and let your ideas flow. Okay? They will come. They will come. Your plans will come together. It's going to be magnificent. Think in that vibration. Raise your vibration high. Okay? You can do excellent, wonderful, incredible things. Yes, you can. Yes, you can, Aquarius. Okay, Aquarius, this has been your life, purpose, and career reading for the month of June, year 2021. I hope the messages in this reading help all of you or as many of you as possible. I hope it resonates. And I'm sending you sincere love and light, blessings, infinite joy, and abundance. Please get in where you fit in. In regards to the oracle reading, it's an extended. It's located in the description box below on the on the top left, okay? $3.43 is all I'm asking for. Of course, you guys can give more if you wish. I do have PayPal and a PO box below as well. If, you're, if you have any questions or um, would like me to email you any of my life coaching videos that I've done, please just email me and I will get back to you. Love and light, blessings, be prosperous, be amazing. You're awesome, you're fantastic, you're fabulous, you're beautiful. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you in advance if you purchase or choose to purchase the extended. God bless you. Much love and light. Bye, Aquarius.